Hi everyone, it's MJ and in this video I'm going to attempt to explain what Ito's Lemma is. Um, essentially, why do we need Ito's Lemma? Because with Ito processes, how do we integrate when we have this Brownian motion function over here? Remember, Ito's process is when your drift and your dispersion are functions, unlike with, say, the Viner process where they were constants. And remember, the Viner process is just a more generalized version of your Brownian motion, or think of this as white noise. So make sure you've seen these three videos and you're comfortable with the theory, because now this is where things get difficult. So, Ito's lemma. We've got Ito's process. And what we're gonna do is, like I said, we're not gonna explain how he did it, we're just gonna see how it's useful. We're gonna use it as a lemma, because mathematically, this is insane. But essentially, K. Ito came up with this idea saying, well, hold on, if I create a function G of X and T, it's going to follow this following Form. And like I say, how he figured that out, we don't know. Well, we do know there's, there's, there is the proof, but it, it very much is above my pay grade. I don't understand it. What we're going to do, though, and especially what they, they ask for us in the actuarial exams, is just to understand it or how to use it. So this is the tricky step. If you can figure out how he came up with that step, fantastic, well done, your IQ's past 500. But for the rest of us mere mortals, let's just examine this function. Because what this function is of itself, it's an Ito's lemma, where we have drift is gonna be equal to this term over here, and our variance or our dispersion is this term over here. Um, remember, we're taking the squared because it's variance, not standard deviation. It's very important you don't get that confused. I sometimes do. Anyway. Let's now take this Ito's lemma and look at it with our stock price model, which we were building in the previous video. And if we take, okay, this is our, our model for the stock price, and we use Ito's lemma, and we put you know, this function of G, and instead of every time we have X and T, we're changing it you know, with our mu and stock price and sigma and our stock price, we get this following idea over here. Now this is the next big step, was to say, okay, well what should this function of g be? And we say, if this function of g is equal to the natural log, now why do we use the natural log? Well, we use it because it has some nice mathematical properties, it makes things a lot simpler. Um, and you're gonna see that if we didn't have the natural log, I mean, we have to deal with this monstrous math. So the natural log is gonna make things simpler. When we look at black skulls later, we're going to see that they start using different functions for G and they use that for the pricing of their derivatives. But in this model, we assume or we let um, our G function equal the natural log. And what's lovely about that is look how everything starts to simplify. So these big ugly terms in this drift part over here become nice and simple when we're using the lin of S. So much so that we get to this very nice and actually manageable um, thing over here where what we're seeing is, okay, hold on, by using the lin of s, our mu and our, our sigma have now become constants. They're no longer linked to the stock price, which means we've now reduced it back to a Viner process. And since it's a Viner process, we can use that idea that we spoke about in the Viner video, that the change in the value of lin s over time interval t is gonna be equal to the normal distribution with given mean and given variance, which means that the lin of s of t, this means what is the stock price gonna be in the future, its natural log is given by this idea here. And essentially, what, how this is different from the one above it is, remember, this is the change in value. So it was lin st minus lin s0. I've just moved lin s0 into the distribution. And now we can use this to model future stock prices. And that is a very high level view of Ito's lemma. Like I said, I'm not going into the mathematics because I don't know how he did that. You don't need to know that for the actuarial exams. That very much is above our pay grade. But this is how Ito's lemma is used so that we can now integrate and have a model for the future stock price. Anyway, 
Thanks so much for watching, and in the next video, we're going to look at how this is applied to the Black Skulls formula.